So today, what we are gonna do is we are gonna unbox this. This is the Milwaukee M12 brushed uh, impact driver and drill. Now, this is not a hammer drill. Uh, I believe this is just a drill driver. Now, it is a 3 8 inch chuck, and this was on sale for the Black Friday sale for 100 bucks. Now, the batteries and charger alone cost more than this kit if you get them separately. So I saw this, you know, I figured it, this would be a good, uh, good, good tools to have to do versus videos against other 12 volt systems that are brushed. Uh, DeWalt and Milwaukee are the only ones that really have a brushless 12 volt system. So uh, Rigid has a brushed uh, 12 volt system. Milwaukee, sorry, uh, Makita has a brushed uh, 12 volt system and Tac Life is uh, 12 volt system is brushed. And I'm I'm getting more t uh, Tac Life 12 volt stuff. So yeah, we're we're gonna box this. Uh, the model number for this is 2494-22. For the, that's the model number for the kit. And so let's open this up and see what's inside. Okay, so. So I was browsing Home Depot for a while yesterday, and I saw was I had uh, about $110 to spend. So I was majorly determining what I should get. You guys know I don't like hard cases. This one came with a soft bag, so that's it for the box. And it is a it is a nice little bag. So the first thing you get, of course, is warranty and instructions and uh, Milwaukee's ca uh, catalog. Put that in the box. Then you get the charger, which uh, this charger is standard. And like I said in previous videos, I think they should have made this charger a lot smaller. This is too big. Uh, it's a nice, durable charger. I'm made out of good material. Uh, but I think that it's just the charger is a little too big for the size of the battery. They could have made this half the size. Alright, so then we get two batteries. Which these are 1.5s. We're actually going to put these on charge. And as you guys know, I have the M12... Uh, hoodie so these batteries are extremely good because winter is coming up winter's here now but it's going to start to get into the negatives in about a month or so so having extra batteries extra m12 batteries is very good at uh for this size so it's good to have extra ones so i could always have this running Those are the two batteries. Very good. It's nice to have two two more 1.5s. I'm gonna put these on charge. And the next you get the you get the drill, which the belt clip comes with it. Now it's nice to see these tools brand new. It it is. So that's the that's the drill. LED on the bottom. It is a 18 point chuck plus one. Sorry. It is an 18 point clutch plus one. It goes two to 18. To drill. There we go. Now this is a, it's a brushed uh, motor and it is not a hammer drill. So it's just a regular drill. Battery is less than half right now, but very good. Like I said before, M the M12 system feels really good in my hand. The M18 system, I don't like the handle because it gets too thin at the bottom and I have big hands. Uh, so, so far, Makita and Ryobi are, make the, are the only ones that make a good handle where it feels really good in my hands. And the M12 system. M12 system feels really good in my hands. I love the way it feels. All right, then you get the quarter inch hex impact. Which there you go. It is <coughs> all right. The model number for the the quarter inch hex is two four uh, two four six two dash twenty twelve volt system series. 
uh, it is a variable speed trigger only. The RPMs is zero to thirty, uh, zero to thirty-three hundred, and the impacts per minute is zero to, zero to twenty-five hundred. So that's not bad. That's not bad for a little M12. Then the model number for the drill is two four zero seven dash twenty. Uh, it has two speed settings, one and two. On speed one, the RPMs is zero to four hundred. On speed two, it is zero to fifteen hundred. Very good, and it's a it's a three eighths inch chuck. It is not a half inch. So we are going to actually let the batteries charge up, and we are going to put these to the test really quick to see what these can do. All right, so, but these are the batteries that I have so far with the M12 system. And I have two, two 1.5s on charge, and I have one right here uh, fueling my hoodie. And so I'm actually going to use this bag to put uh, my batteries in it. So, so far I got the 3 amp hour high output battery. I got two 3 amp hour XC M12 batteries. I have a 2 amp hour M12 battery and I have three 1.5 amp hour M12 batteries. I also got the, what is this, a 3 amp hour I think it is. Yeah, I got, a, I got a one 3 amp hour regular battery and I got a 5 amp hour regular battery. So. When it comes to when it comes to Milwaukee, I'm pretty much done. I need one more Milwaukee battery, and that's a six amp hour. And then that that's pretty much it for Milwaukee. So I'm going to be putting the batteries will be stored in here. And so now I could just when I'm doing a versus video against another brand, I bring the bag out for this and the other brand, and that that's pretty much it. I got the Makita. Uh, batteries in a Makita bag, the Ryobi batteries in a Ryobi bag, and I'm going to have the DeWalt batteries in a DeWalt uh, bag. So, you get the idea. So, we can put that there because we are going to use the exact batteries that came with the uh, kit so we can do the test. And so, yeah, then there you go. My batteries are now organized in a little bag because it is winter outside, right? Uh, it is winter time. I do not keep my batteries in the garage because it gets cold in here. So if you have batteries, uh, you know, if they use on a construction site, just uh, bring, you can keep the tool in your truck or your garage, but bring the batteries inside. The cells will decay in the batteries if you leave them in the cold for too long. And then you put them on charge while on cold and the, ba the battery decays and it won't hold the charge uh, that long or the tr it won't get fully charged so it's best to bring the batteries indoors alrighty so we have the <clears throat> so the batteries are all charged up we are going to see what this uh, bad boy can do we are going to first do a test with the one inch one inch spade and again this has that click this is nice I love having the click all right, first we're going to do the one inch spade, then we are going to do a one and one eighth spade, then we are going to do a half inch hull. So let's see what the what this can do. Then we're going to move on to the impact. All right, so we're going to do two hulls with this. We're going to time them both. All right, so three, it's on drill, speed two, go. It says the battery's at. Nope, there we go. It's going. Battery's going back up. I smell that. Huh. All right, so that hole did not cut straight. By the way, that is on a little angle. All right, so we're gonna do one more. Three, two, one. There we go. All right, so let's move on to the one and one eighth. And 
And like you guys know, I do not know what the results are. I find out the results during the video editing. That clears it. All right, so three, two, one, go. Very good. We're gonna do one more. All right, so three, two, one, go. And there we go. Just letting it do its thing. Because if I push down on it too hard, it will stop. Guaranteed for it to stop. Now this is a half inch uh, bit with a three eight uh, a three eighths end. As you can see, it fits in there. I love that click. We'll do three holes, maybe four. Well, we're going to time this all at once. All right, so three, two, one, go. Not bad, not bad at all. Not bad at all, wow. Battery, uh, battery's at half after doing that. Battery's at half. All right, so we have the, the M12 uh, quarter inch hex impact. Uh, battery is full. We are gonna test out a 10 inch Timberlock screw and see what it can do. All right, so three, two, one, go. And time. It's capable of doing it. It is capable of doing it, which that battery says is at 75%, but that might go up. All right, so we are going to take this out. We're gonna time it and see what it does. Like I said, it, it, this feels really good in my hand. It really does. All right, so three, two, one, go. Very good. Very good. For the next test, we're going to use Tac Life impact rated sockets. I put these through a lot of uh, torture and they hold up just fine. Alrighty, so I have uh, the, these are half inch sockets, so I do have a half inch ad adapter on there. So let's see what, we, what this can do with putting in a four inch uh, lag screw. Three, two, one, go. And there we go. There we go. Let's take it out. All right, we're gonna try one more spot uh, right here. All right, so three, two, one, go. All right, that actually stopped. That actually stopped right there. Let's see if we can take it out. Batteries at half. All 
All right, you know what? Just because, let's give it. Let's give it the benefit of the doubt. Let's give it a fresh battery. I have others. Uh, you know what? I just said screw it. Let's use a three amp hour XC battery. Let's see what this does. Battery is full. All right, right here. All right, so three, two, one, go. Almost. There we go. It did it. It did it. And I'm going to record this to put it on the uh, the Milwaukee Facebook group that I'm in. All right, so three, two, one, go. There we go. And it did it. It did it. It's a it's a it's a 12 volt system, you guys, and it's brushed. They make a much more powerful one than that. And it's <laughs> dude, if this can do that, imagine what this can do. Alrighty, so the test was a success when it comes to performing the tasks. Now these things are powerful. For an older modeled brushed uh, 12 volt system, they are seriously powerful. All right, so we are gonna measure the temperature of the, both of these. Highest temperature on the drill is 73 degrees. 73, just went away. All right, on the impact, it's gonna be a little bit warmer because I, all, I put this through a lot. 78 over there, 85 degrees is at the, the impact. Now these things are awesome and powerful and like I said before, they make brushless fuel versions of them, which I we are going to do a versus video against these uh, in a uh, future video to see what is, ooh, actually I want to Eighty nine degrees, eighty nine degrees, and this is metal. That is metal, which is good. Seriously, these things are are extremely powerful. So they do make the brushless fueled versions of these. So we are going to do versus videos in the future against the older models. See it just to see what the difference in technology and uh, quality Milwaukee has evolved to. But for when it comes to these two, for a 12 system, a 12 volt system, these are awesome. These are seriously, seriously awesome. And I got this for 100 bucks. They're on sale right now at Home Depot for 100 dollars for the Black Friday sale. And so yes, they they are they are worth the money. Just the batteries you get, just the batteries you get with them alone are and the charger are worth the hundred bucks and you get a bag and you get two tools so it pretty much you get two free tools out of that deal you know it'll cost you know, for a hundred bucks that's pretty much it that concludes the test for these two and please subscribe to the channel uh we are going to be doing a lot of videos uh a lot more videos coming up and so yeah that's pretty much it so this is dave nicholas thank you for tuning in and i'll see you guys next time